It is Small Business Week, and as part of the National Small Business Week Roadshow, the U.S. SBA Deputy Administrator is stopping by two South Dakota businesses today and tomorrow. The first stop for the Deputy Administrator is a veteran-owned business in Box Elder. Our Humberto Gila Sanchez explains. With just about 90,000 small businesses in South Dakota, companies like veteran-owned VRC Metal Systems continue to innovate what being a small tech business in the state means. We do a lot of DOD work, so we work with all the services, uh, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps, Coast Guard. We work with nuclear power companies. We work with conventional power companies, space companies. The idea for the cold spray products didn't come out of the blue. It was reinforced after a commission at Ellsworth Air Force Base was meant to find new technologies for an aging aircraft facility. I learned from that effort. I was a consultant on that and I learned that there's a real need for transition of technologies out of laboratory environments into uh, operational use or operational products. The journey cold spray has taken from 2010 to now in 2024 couldn't have been done without the investment of state and federal governments. When we are investing in new industries, batteries um, and others, it is going to create an, an expansion of market where companies like these can actually even have stronger prospects in their growth. That's why it's so critical that we promote um, innovation capacity within the, within the entrepreneurship community. The success story of VRC Metal Systems is what U.S. SBA encourages, not only across the country, but in those underrepresented rural regions. So this is an exciting time uh, for us to uh, build these industries, for us to um, you know, welcome new businesses and, and build ecosystems that can rise uh, South Dakota in the region. According to the Biden administration, as of Monday, a record of 17.2 million new business applications have been filed in the U.S. Reporting in Box Elder, I'm Humberto Giles Sanchez.